Hey, what's going on, guys? How are your meatballs? Today, we're going to be talking to you about all five tier upgrades for Mule Kick in Black Ops Cold War Zombies DLC 3 Mowder Toten. Definitely make sure if you are excited for Mule Kick to drop this video a thumbs up, as well as make sure you are subscribed to the channel for the absolute most elite guides on the YouTube's videos, tutorials, whatever it may be, information, leaks, rumors, whatever it may be, Call of Duty Zombies, anything and everything. Of course, I got you covered. Subscribe to join the Meepo Army, as well as drop a comment down below letting me know what are you most excited for with Mule Kick, or what would you be most excited for with Mule Kick and Cold War Zombies? Before you even see these perk tiers what would you want mule kick for black ops cold war zombies let me know down below in the comment section and let's see if what i'm going to read to you is actually within the perk upgrades for mule kick but yeah on that note we are on our grind to 100,000 subscribers thanks for so much support lately and let's get into the video what are the tier upgrades for mule kick and black ops cold war zombies i just want to preface it by saying in terms of the actual relevant information now it posts itself promo the cheeseburger boys are responsible for this leak they state these as quote unquote predictions but these are not predictions this is just them telling us what the tiers are going to be for mule kick and cold war um, there, I believe they're labeling them as predictions a little bit as a joke, but more so to avoid saying the word leak. And in the past, if you guys don't know who the Cheeseburger Boys are, they've gotten plenty of things correct. They have trolled the community a little bit, to be honest. But whenever they intentionally try to get information out there and are receptive and are receptive to it, you know, they, they they are correct. They just like to have a little bit of fun every once in a while. And hey, I respect that. So it is what it is. You guys may have a bad taste in your mouth about them from the past, maybe if you even remember that, because it was about six months ago. But regardless, the Cheeseburger Boys are a reputable group of leaks for Cold War Zombies. All their links will be down below in the description, including Nanakos, who recapped the five perk tiers. So, first things first, what is Mule Kick going to do to you, do for you at its base? Obviously, same exact thing. It will provide an additional weapon slot, a third primary weapon slot, so you can hold whatever the heck you want. You can hold three shotguns, three ARs, or, you know, whatever the heck you want, three different weapons in your hand at the same exact time. Now, the tier one upgrade to Mule Kick, will, or it says, is that there's crafted equipment. It grants you an additional equipment if available. And somebody asked Nanakos, what exactly what does this mean? It's a little bit confusing. And you know what? I agree with you, dude. But now it makes sense. So in Cold War Zombies, I believe you can only hold the max of two monkey bombs, right? So just hear me out. You can hold the max of two monkey bombs. So just say you approach the crafting station, which is where you buy monkey bombs, score streaks, and all that stuff. For the sake of this example, let's say you approach that crafting station with no monkey bombs, and you're like, okay, I have a thousand salvage. Let me just go buy some monkey bombs because I want to use some monkey bombs right now. Or even say you're on Firebase and you want to do the monkey bomb upgrade, because in Firebase you actually can upgrade the monkey bombs. I do have a video on my channel talking about that if you guys are interested in that. I believe. I have a 30 second god as well but i think it's something as little as getting 30 kills with them and you're good but it's annoying because you have to actually get the monkey bombs either from the ground loot or you have to buy them to get the initial kills with them to upgrade them so my point is say you have say you have uh whatever whatever it may be it could be monkey bombs it could be any other kind of slot like that but just say you don't have the max of it or one off the max of it so you go to this crafting station since you can only have a max of two monkey bombs in the game if you have one monkey bomb are you on you and you buy a monkey bomb you'll just get one monkey bomb however if you approach the crafting station with no monkey bombs on you and you buy one monkey bomb then it will grant you an additional one for free and this will go on so long as your slots aren't filled up obviously if you approach it like i said with one just like i said before it'll only give you one extra one because you can't hold three monkey bombs in cold war i believe you can only only hold the max of two but i think you guys get the point considering the max you can hold is two it'll grant you an additional one up to the limit pretty much it's a buy one get one free deal so long as you're not filled to capacity on whatever you're trying to buy if you're still confused about that drop a comment down below and i'll try to clear that up but i believe that was pretty clear next moving on to tier two all enemies have a small chance to drop ammo and what does this sound like my friends blood wolf bite from black ops 4 zombies pretty much and a lot of you are also probably thinking Voltraid. yes this is essentially Voltraid without the gas and blood wolf bite and cold war Zo or in bo4 zombie sorry without the dog it's just very simply dropping you ammo via enemies and i think that's really cool we don't have to worry about a dog coming in and killing our zombies we don't have to worry about this green gas which to be honest with, with you is really cool and really op and all that stuff but you know there's no other catches to that it's literally just that it drops you out it just drops you ammo and that's awesome right not necessarily not necessarily that ammo is an issue in cold war because you can buy it back but it's just going to make going for high rounds now with really powerful we wonder weapons which let's hope that the ones in cold war uh, dlc3 malware to tone are it'll just make it all the more easier now moving forward to tier three by the way make sure definitely once again if you're not already subscribed to the channel the sub button's feeling a little lonely man go ahead and smash it join the meatball army the most elite community on the youtubes on the twitches and yeah also check out all the social links down below again stream every single day on twitch upload a video every other day on youtube covering everything and anything zombies we have a discord server where you guys can try to team up as well as join open lobby games with me on streams over on twitch a twitter and all that stuff but yeah moving forward tier three stowed weapons slowly refill ammo from stock so if you pair that with the previous tier that is freaking awesome so let's say for example you are shooting your wonder weapon you run out of ammo with it and then you realize okay because i have tier one or because i have tier two mule kick i can pick up these ammo drops from the floor so you pick up these ammo drops and you don't even have to really reload all that will happen 
happen is over time that ammo that you pick up from the floor without reloading it will eventually just keep going into your magazine it'll just keep bleeding into your magazine like you guys have seen in the past with some custom perks which is really really cool it's almost like a reach uh, it's almost like recharging the gun right you don't have to ever technically reload if you don't want to say you're capable of switching weapons as well and allowing that to refill that'll just make this all the more better and i know again these aren't anything absolutely mind-blowingly shocking but to be honest with you i do think they did do a fairly good job at making these mule kick tiers and of course we still have two more tiers to go to but i just wanted to throw, throw that in just in case you guys were like wow this is a little underwhelming because i can buy ammo in cold war but to be honest with you it could be a lot more useful than you, than you think especially depending on the wonder weapons in this map future wonder weapons and whether or not the it refills ammo when you have another weapon out because if that does happen then that is really really awesome moving forward now tier 4 25 per chance of keeping non-retrievable equipment when you now to be honest with you i have no idea what this means but if i had to take a guess maybe it's something like the lt-53 casimir maybe it is referring to grenades and lethals tacticals maybe even support equipment like your score streaks maybe you have a 25 percent chance 25 percent chance to keep those when you use them but i don't know i, I that doesn't fit the description of non-retrievable to me you're able to retrieve all of that stuff either in different ways throughout the map or through the actual support system or through the sorry crafting table i should say so those aren't necessarily non-retrievable non-retrievable sorry to me what's non-retrievable is something like the lt-53 casimir within malware or totem which is going to be a buildable item it's going to be the kind of like dark ether gersh device and that is what i believe most likely they are referring to with this tier 4 upgrade i could be very wrong about that but we'll have to wait and see as for now though 25 percent chance to keep non-retrievable equipment when you moving on to tier 5 the third primary weapon is recovered when repurchasing mule kick as i already told you guys i believe this was going to be an ability mule kick no matter what in my mule kick predictions video and this is yep an amazing ability to have as a tier 5 perk upgrade literally just because we can now play cold war zombies we can have these great effects with our third weapon or whatever the deal may be right with the increased ammo or whatever it may be and hey if we go down we do lose mule kick we lose that third weapon but if we want to get mule kick back we want that third weapon back all we simply have to do is run up to the either the mule kick machine or the water fist within the map and purchase mule kick and bang that third perk will be thrown or sorry that third weapon will be thrown right back into our inventory so long as we have tier 5 mule kick in our possession so like for example say you have the ray gun as your third gun say you have the uh, say you have the um xm4 as your first gun the mp5 as your second gun and the ray gun as your third gun if you went down with tier 5 mule kick then you would lose the ray gun temporarily but if you get if you buy mule kick back or obviously get back up revive yourself or get revived and get back up go to that machine whatever it may be the mule kick machine wonder his machine get mule kick back you will have the ray gun back in your hands you will have that third weapon slot retained on the note my friends appreciate you watching the video definitely make sure if you did enjoy to drop it a thumbs up as well as make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more elite call of duty zombies videos keep in mind that this is that this is all non-confirmed information via treyarch it's confirmed via a reputable group of leakers but that doesn't say all too much despite them being very reputable because at the end of the day leaks are leaks all right I'll see you later guys take care of meatballs peace I've been wishing for some better day